All right, so I figured since rainy weather is here, I might want to show this. Um, I don't need my wiper blades replaced, but let me show you guys how you would do it. So first you would go into this car menu. Um, this is on the current um, firmware software version. So if the software changes, I won't know how to get there, but uh, or this won't show how to get there. But anyways, you would go to service. And then from service, oh, I need to inflate the tires. They're pretty low. I think they're supposed to be 42. Anyways, we're going to go to service here. <clears throat> and then you have wiper service mode, so you'll press that. And when you press that, the wiper blades come up slightly like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and go outside, and I'm going to show how to remove these. Um, the wiper blade sizes are 26 and 20. So the passenger side has a 20-inch blade, and then... The one on the driver's side has a 26 inch blade okay i don't know if they'll change it with the different years or maybe i have the information for the wrong years but anyways um if you're not sure uh probably want to google and make sure but anyways 26 and 20 okay so give me a second i need to set up my tripod so i don't have to hold my camera and then i'll show you how to remove the blade they're basically the same on both sides so i'll just show this one because it's closer so i can easily get to it all right give me a few minutes to set up the camera Okay, so let me see if I can show this. It's pretty simple and straightforward. If you see um, the little square thing right there, sorry, it's not focusing, that right there, we gotta push that button in and then we can slide the wiper blade out. All right, so let me show you. Push that button in and then you can pull this out, okay? Just like this, oh, it's kinda stuck, come on. Am I missing something here? Hmm. Maybe it's not as easy as I thought. <laughs> it's stuck here. Huh. Is there a second button I'm missing somewhere? Here. The other top thing is the washer fluid, so that doesn't want to come out. Maybe I have to keep pushing it down. I can't get my finger in there. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, after pushing this square piece down, it still didn't want to come out, so what I did was I pushed in here, and then that allowed me to slide it out. So here you can see what the wiper blade mechanism looks like. You do want to set that down gently. You don't want to just drop it onto your windshield, obviously, because you don't want it to damage the, the wiper thing or your windshield. I think it's more likely this will break because that piece is plastic. But if that breaks and then this slams into it as well, that could be bad. But anyways, that's what the mechanism looks like, all right? And it wobbles around like that. Very simple, easy to do. But again, 26-inch um, blade on the far, on the driver's side, and then 20-inch blade for this one, okay? And then to put the new one back in, <clears throat> obviously you just lift it back up, make sure it slides in right. Slide that into place. There you go. Very nice, very simple, very easy to do. Again, the middle one will probably be difficult to reach because that's like right in the middle. That's like right in the middle of the car. So let me see. Yeah, I don't know how you would. <laughs> that's really far to reach. Maybe from this side. Okay, I guess you can reach from this side and then you can pull that and then you gotta push this down. And there you go. Okay, not too bad. You do kind of have to reach a bit, but there you go. Then just slide it back in. Very nice, very simple. Okay. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Uh, hopefully it helped you save a bunch of money because I know if you have someone do this, it's probably not going to be cheap. Um, so, yeah, just do it yourself. Doesn't even take like a minute. Once you know how to do it, push the button. Lift it, push the button, push down here. So fast. Grab the new one take it slide it in okay and also keep in mind if you buy like uh, aftermarket wiper blades sometimes they'll have like little adapters to change the type of wiper blade type so make sure you get the right kind with that little square push button um, because yeah otherwise you wouldn't be able to install them so yeah again hopefully this video helped you guys out um, and look forward to seeing you guys in some of my other videos somehow uh, changing the washer fluid on my uh, car 
is one of my most popular videos right now so hopefully this one will also be that way <laughs> and yeah hopefully it will keep you guys safe on the roads um, if you're getting your windshields chattering and stuff like at one point mine was kind of like bouncing on the windshield especially on colder days um, that is usually due to having like if you're using the Rain-X type uh, washer fluid because the water doesn't stick to the windshield very well when your blade wipes it kind of skips and bounces along the windshield so <clears throat> make sure if your windshield it wipers are doing that it's because you have that um, it's kind of like an oily film that sticks on top and it kind of makes it so some so when the windshield wiper is moving it will kind of sometimes stick more than others so the surface isn't as consistent and that's kind of why the windshield wipers stick um, it's kind of like if you rub your finger along and sometimes it gets stuck along the windshield like you can feel like the squeakiness like it makes like some squeaking sound so it's kind of like that um, basically imagine your car losing grip the tires losing grip or something so instead of like a uh, like consistent like sliding it'll sometimes regain grip and then sometimes skid again and that's basically what's going on um, the ways you can fix that you would basically super clean your windshield you'd have to use like some good chemicals to clean it or maybe rubbing alcohol and stuff to dissolve off that um, but yeah uh, you don't want to use those kind of chemicals along the plastic stuff here because it will discolor it um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Again, hopefully this video helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Okay, anyways, uh, let's see if I can do a close-up here. We're going to push this button, pull this back. You can see I can do this with one hand, push on this, and yeah, it, you can even do this with one hand. So that's how easy it is to pull out and replace the wiper blades on a Tesla Model Y. All right, so I'm assuming the Model 3 is very similar. Um, drop that down, and there you go. I can do that with one hand. Um, the hardest part is holding this up. I might have to use my other hand to kind of help lift it, yep. But uh, you can see, I can do this with one hand. That's pretty amazing, okay? So, yeah, I like that. Uh, very nice very easy the only thing is I don't know why but you have to so after you pull this one it still doesn't come out and you do have to push here okay and you have to push somewhat hard so I don't know why it needs those two steps to do it but uh just keep that in mind all right and I forgot to show once you're done with that obviously you want to go back into your car and you want to turn the thing back off so go back to there go back to service and then um, let me zoom out here, but basically go to the bottom, wiper service mode, turn that off. And then they just go back down. And that's it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.